Well, new fallout today from reports that a double agent working with the CIA and the Saudis helped stop al-Qaeda's latest plot targeting U.S.-bound airplanes. Some critics are now outraged that someone would leak that sensitive information. They're saying it's almost unprecedented for us to know, virtually real time, that the person at the heart of the operation was a double agent working inside al-Qaeda. Radio host Mark Levin even going so far as to call it treason and suggesting this leak reeks of politics. Just pretend you're investigating Major League Baseball players and steroid use. You're aggressive about that. That was very important to know for our federal Congress whether players were sticking needles in their <laughs> with steroid. Okay, now we have some answers. Great, wonderful. Now, find out, if you can, who the hell is putting this information out, weakening our national security, and potentially exposing great patriots who put their necks on the line to get this information to us so another plane's not blown out of the air. Because I smell politics. Does he have a point? Joining me now, Simon Rosenberg, who's president and founder of the Progressive New Democrat Network, a think tank, and a former, and he's also a former campaign advisor to President Clinton. And Michael Graham, who's a WTKK FM radio host and a Boston Herald columnist. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for being here. So, uh, Michael, let me start with you on this. You know, treason or not, should this be investigated? They have, we are told that they are starting some investigations into how this happened. Uh, and did the newspapers have an obligation not to, not to print it? I remember the good old days when it was simply a crime to mention that Joe Wilson's wife worked for the CIA. And they would, we could get people in the White House dragged in front of courts for that one. And now we've got real-time intelligence being distributed to the press and the attitude is, well, you know, whatever. And the, the Obama administration is great at starting investigations, particularly when it comes to classified information. They have a record number, is my understanding. But very little follow-up, very few results. And what's scary is there's an ethos on the left that uh, giving out information about what the intelligence and military communities are doing is a good thing. Look at Bradley Manning, who probably got assets killed abroad, but was nominated for a Nobel Prize by loony lefties. You know, Simon, the L.A. Times... Uh posted this report, breaking the, the double agent story, and, and talked about, uh, attributed it to officials. They talked about officials uh, providing this information. It, you know, the criticism is, if we had known that, that it was a double agent inside of uh, Al-Qaeda that did this for us, that didn't deliver the bomb to the airplane as instructed, but brought it to U.S. officials, we could have sent him back. We could, he could have brought us to the bomb maker. We could have used him for all sorts of other intel uh, efforts, but now you can't. Megan, maybe. I mean, I don't think we really know. I don't think we should believe that we really understand what happened based on a few stories that we've written about that we've read about in the paper in the last few days. I, I just want to say, first of all, that we have to applaud our intelligence agencies, the Department of Defense, CIA, everybody involved in this operation. This was a tremendous success. This was a potentially dangerous event that was for, uh, forestalled by our intelligence operation. So, first of all, you know, I think we should start this conversation by saying congratulations to our team who continue to protect us here at home. On the second point uh, here, you know, I think it's still very early in all of this. We don't really know what happened. There is an investigation being launched. Well, we know, we know. Prominent, we know, we know we've been told that there was a secret but, agent, a double agent right, at, at the heart But of a it. very prominent, a very prominent columnist today, Julia Kayam, former senior uh, DHS official, speculated that the leak came from the CIA because there is a huge turf battle going on between DOD and CIA for who's going to have control over the drone operations and these kind of strikes into places like Yemen. I think it's still very early. I think everyone should calm down here. This administration clearly doesn't have any kind of culture of leaks. This is a ridiculous assertion by my colleague here. I mean, they've extent, there, there's been much more extensive use of drones in this administration than there was in the Bush administration. They didn't even acknowledge the existence of these drones until the last two weeks, three and a half years into the administration. So that entire spew that we heard a minute ago was silly. Like and we have to stay focused okay. on the fact Let that this respond. president ahead, has Michael. been unbelievably successful Simon, at taking out the bad guys and the, the right pissed off about it. Michael, go ahead. Look, 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 
I give President Obama all kinds of credit. Absolutely. I love the fact yeah. that he's now using intelligence tools that he d denounced when he was running for. I'm glad he's embraced Gitmo that he denounced while he was president. But there's a problem is when you see the same people cheering Bradley Manning, uh, an open traitor, and then suddenly you have leaks coming out from officials. It's not unusual to say, hmm, I wonder if there is a problem here. I mean, you can't deny the ethos that the current White House and the team around the president come out of, which is very, let me look at the fiasco going on right now at Gitmo, where you've got the lawyer for the, uh, for the uh, whack job 9-11 killers wearing the abaya and demanding the judge to make the Navy personnel wear one, and there's the judge, handpicked by the Obama administration, saying, well, we'll let these guys have their fun. Mm. Uh, there's, Megan, a lot, there's a lot there, but let's just keep it on the, on the, on the double agent leak for now, Simon. Sure, Megan, I, I think all I'll say is that, you know, Al-Qaeda has been essentially dismantled while this president has been in office. We saw a very successful but management. But we're not talking about that, the, right? Are, well, we, are, we, are we talking about why do we know? Why do we have to know? Why does somebody I, leak and then why do right. the papers have to print it? I mean, what if we could have gotten more information? What if we could have saved more lives? Megan, I think the administration's launched an investigation of this. They've, it is clearly wrong what happened. This shouldn't have leaked. But I think we don't. The idea that somehow this was done, as was asserted earlier, for political gain. This administration has kept all sorts of covert, op covert operations under wraps for years that we know nothing about. There's no culture of leaks. There's no culture of this has been, they've managed this portfolio of issues unbelievably well. And part of it is the right is freaked out that we've had such a successful foreign policy president who is the guy who's finished the job against al-Qaeda. That's part of what's going on here. And so they've said that this is wrong. They're going to investigate it. And hopefully we'll find out what happened yeah. uh, in the month.